All right, no agenda today. I'm just going to open up Studio One and start a project and see what we come up with. By the way, if you guys missed the coffee shop and all the background noise, let me know. I could always go back there, but it's just a little more professional, and I have my MIDI controller here. So, All right, what do we want to do? I have no agenda. What's under VST2? How about go to, which is a Rob Poppin plugin that just looks cool. Let's see what this thing does. All right, I'm just hitting one note. It's doing that. Let's open up the um, manager, which is one thing about Rob Poppin plugins. You've got tons and tons of presets. These are banks. So you got all kinds of stuff in here. Like what's a housey chord art? I don't want something that's going to like just play itself. I just want a sound. It's not bad. That's pretty cool. Let's use that. And let's click in a tempo just by clicking on here and just two, three, four. <laughs> it's exactly 120. That's interesting. All right, well, let's just turn on a click track, start playing, and see what we come up with. I'm going to record this. Ooh, okay, that last part was pretty cool. So let's go. Uh... All right, so let's quantize. And I'm going to just chop it here. Quick little tip is whenever the cursor is in cross mode, which happens when you're on the top part of the, the top half of a track, um, you could just double click anywhere on there and it will cut. It's like having the snipper tool. So just so you know that. And let's bring this back to one. And let's see what we got here. And I thought it sounded better the first time I played it. But let's open it up and let's see what we could do with it. How about dun 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 dun? All right, that's pretty cool. And let's mess with the uh, plugin a little bit and just change some parameters. And, uh, again, I'm not a synth guy. I don't know what half this stuff does to me. Well, I kind of do, but I'm not familiar with this synth. Let's put it that way. So let's just turn some knobs and see if we can come up with something cool. I like that one a little better, actually. I just changed the presets to base three. All right, let's turn off the click. And let's pull in Groove Agent, just because I'm having fun with it lately. That is a drum plugin from uh, Steinberg. Somebody asked me, do you need to have Cubase to use Groove Agent? No, you can buy Groove Agent on its own. I buy it as part of the Absolute um, plugin collection, which is I'm a huge fan. Here, I'll just pull, pull it up real quick. Steinberg Absolute. I think this is one of the best collections of uh, virtual instruments that are out there. You basically have everything you need instrument-wise in this because it comes with um, Halion 7, which is just an incredible beast mode synth, which has all... Halion 7 has all this crap built in, and then you have, on top of that, uh, other... Uh, just, I, I scrolled through it too fast, but other synthesizers, and it... I think it comes with Groove Agent 6. So, anyway, it has a lot of stuff. Let's get back to the music. All right, so let's just... What's Sloppy Kit? It's interesting. All right, let's... I liked what I played there. I was not recording, but let's open up retrospective recording here in the inspector and just pull in that last thing I did because it was my fate. Oh, no, I was looping. 
When you loop with retrospective recording, it just plays everything on top of each other. Yeah, screw that. All right. So uh, let me just duplicate this four times. And let's just start playing some stuff with Groove Agent. Let's actually turn on the click because we're putting in drums. And let's do a pre-count track by Shift-C, turning on pre-count so we get four clicks here. All right, good enough. And I want to I wanna put some hi-hats in there. Nothing crazy, though. What are these? All right, it's got some cool stuff. I'm just going to mess around. All right. Cool. So we have a drum beat. Let's play that four times. Now let's bring in Halion, like I was talking about. I'll show you what kind of, what, how beast mode this thing is. Halion 7, if you click on single instrument and just look at the library, this thing is ringing up all the presets you got in here. 7,192 presets. So what's under Amped Electro? What's this? Double click. It's loading. Here we go. Let's, let's try it. All right. That was kind of interesting. So let's uh, let's open up retrospective recording. Let's quantize. Let's see what we got. All right, it's not bad. And then let's go one lower. So dun 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 dun. Let's duplicate that four times. And then why don't we go into Retrolog, which is a really fun analog synth from Steinberg. Again, guys, I have no agenda here. I'm just literally going off top of mind, just popping in presets and synths. I don't really have a, anything I'm, I'm focusing on, just uh, coming up with stuff. All right, here we go. Two, two, three, four. I like the chords I was playing, but there's a little too much release going on, and it just sounds might be the delay. All right, let's uh, let's loop it and just keep playing with it and see what we, get, what we come up. pretty neat all right so I'm just gonna bring this towards the back here so let's start off with let's make it kind of into a song now just bringing in elements slowly we got Let's turn the arranger on and just make this the intro. And then let's make this a verse. At least we got it separated now. Okay, I actually want to start with that. 
like this. All right, so as part of the intro, let's group these together. That's going to extend it out a little bit. I'm going to bounce this track, which I like to do. And then let's EQ this part. All right, that actually sounds pretty cool. So let's um, open up the EQ and automate this knob so that it starts there and gets to about here before the good stuff comes in. Let's do the same thing. We're going to group this, stretch it a little bit out so the reverb tail is there, um, bounce it, and then let's use this as like our intro to the verse. So we could mangle this a little bit too. Let's put a, uh, I, I usually do auto, I, I've been messing with auto filter a little bit. I don't want to overuse it, but let's just see if there's an interesting preset. What's coffee filter? It's actually kind of neat. Let's add some effects to it. So I'm going to go into effects here. I'm going to bring in an analog delay on that track. Let's put a little reverb on it too. Bring room in on ascend. Ooh, that sounds cool. Let's start bringing in some drums here in this part. So, let's start a, a clip there. And yeah, let's bring something like that. Here we go. <laughs> Sounds cool. All right, so let's quantize that. And I think we have a good start of a song. Again, the purpose of these videos is just to get some juices flowing, not necessarily going to make a full song, but I want to spark ideas in your head. Plus, if the video goes too long, you guys get bored and you tune out. It's not good for the algorithm either, but that's not why I'm doing it. So let's just hear how it sounds fully from the beginning. Okay, wait, there's one more thing I want to add. Let's do this four times, group them, bounce that, and do the same thing with an EQ, slowly bring this guy in. Okay, so we're going to automate the purple, the high cut. And let's look at it on our track. Let's start it low and just bring it into what's about there. And then it'll everything should kick in when the verse hits. So let's see how it goes.
Alright, let's hear how it goes from the beginning again. Here we go. I made some tweaks. Nice, slow start. So it should hit pretty hard when the verse comes in. All right, good enough to get a little morning inspiration going on today. So uh, that was fun. See you guys next video.